Hi folks, some of you may have noticed that I've got a new camera so I'll be doing a wee unboxing for it and uh, showing you some of the features and what I've been doing with it so I hope you enjoy it, cheers Hi guys, as you may know I'm always trying to improve the quality of my videos uh, one of the ways you can do this is by using a digital SLR camera. It gives you like full control over the focus and like brightness of exposure and everything like that. So uh, it might be a way to sort of things out and I've always looked to them for a while. Uh, this one's caught my eye just now so we'll see how we go with that. So this is a Sony Alpha 58 DSLR. It's actually got a translucent mirror in it, so the, the mirror doesn't have to flick up and down while you're taking pictures or video. And it lets you use an electronic viewfinder all the time instead of just using the finder on the back. It help with composition and doing your autofocus effects, etc, etc. and stuff. Copy the Bible. <sighs> Power cord. USB connection cable. Wooden battery charger. European power cord. Camera strap, a cuddly toy, oh no, sorry, that's a battery. We need one or two of them. And a lens, which is 18 to 55mm. Automatic focus, which will probably not use that very often. One camera. And congratulations, it's a Sony. So here she is out of the box. There's a sticker on the LCD screen asking you to go and download the latest version of Play Memories Home from uh, the Sony site. I've already got that for my TD30 so I'll not need to bother with putting that on. Here's the kit lens. Basic 18 to 55, that's 3.5 to 5.6. I'll probably look for a, a better lens on eBay, the old Minota lenses will do this camera just fine and better quality. So here we are, here's the camera. It's got a nice wee tilting screen on it. Um, obviously, lets you take like a low level shot, a uh, high level shot. Unfortunately, it doesn't fold away at the side, so it's not very good for my stabilizer unit. Um, it's got an electronic viewfinder here, which is supposedly really, really good quality. Diopter adjustment for. 
different eyesights. A dedicated movie record button, which is the thing that I'm pretty interested in. Movies on it, obviously. It's full HD, AVC HD format, which is most of the Sony consumer cameras are. And you can flick between the electronic viewfinder and the LCD screen with the button. Uh, it's also got like a proximity detector, so if you stick your eye up against that, it'll flick over to the electronic viewfinder. It's pretty handy. As I say, it's got a translucent mirror in it, so that most of the light goes through to the sensor. Some of it's reflected back to the, the actual viewfinder and the screen. So it's like in live view all the time. So it's, it gives you a, what you're actually getting on film. Or should I say memory card nowadays. And the bottom have the compartment for the battery. I thought the memory card slot would have been in there as well, but I take it that's at the side here. What are we getting? Oh yeah, here we are. SD card memory slot. On this side we've got another couple of wee compartments. And there for the power. And I've got the adapter for that. So that will be no much good to me. We have a microphone socket, but we don't have a headphone socket, which is a bit annoying. Uh, HDMI out and a multi out. Hmm, let's see, get a wee mini plug for that HDMI. There's a full menu button in there to delve into everything, but most normal day-to-day -day tasks you normally find works through the function button playback gives you like sort of instant playback here seems it was just recorded the camera uses a bayonet connector mount for the Sony Sony Alpha style as I say it's also compatible with the older Minota tile style lenses so how do we hook this up you match up two red dots and you get a twirl. That's us. And now if I get the battery charged up, I'll be able to shoot. Okay, so here we have it. Batteried up. And we have the screen on the back. That's set to autofocus at the moment. Obviously the, the idea of a camera like this isn't for autofocus, it's for the manual focus and hopefully getting you a better depth of field that you would normally get. With the, the kit lens it isn't particularly good for that, but I got a wee adapter ring. I fit on it and I can use mould uh, Olympus Pentac lenses that I've got. So what have we... It's got 1080p shooting on it, which is what I got it for. Uh, 50 frames per second instead of the 24, which would have been nice and handy. And there's sort of various sort of movie modes for it. Manual exposure, short priority, which is the one that I would normally do it on. That's the fiftieth of a second, which is the shooting speed for for PAL countries. The camera does have a nifty feature on it for when you're shooting movies. When you want to get absolute focus, there we are. Peaking display. It peaks the high contrast areas in red or white, so you can like know when you're in total. If 
go focus with it. I like that a lot. Uh, the electronic viewfinder is really good as well. I don't know if it'll work with this. There we go. It does have an electronic viewfinder, full colour, it's pretty high resolution, it's easy to focus when you don't have the peaking on with the electronic viewfinder. That's an also a feature that I do like a lot. So we are. It's a nice wee camera. Uh, it's reasonably lightweight. Uh, it doesn't have the reflex action that a normal camera does, so you've got live view all the time. I'm pretty much liking it. It does give a clearer picture uh, and better colour than my TD30 does. Uh, overall it does match quite well so for like taking the two different views on a, a gig or something it does work pretty good. Plus the fact that I can use interchangeable lenses, I can use mold lenses on it. Handy thing. I'll give you some examples of what the actual camera can do with uh, an extra lens, a uh, 50mm. It does look quite good. I'll just show you how easy it is to change that to the 50mm here. Okay, so I've got my lens and my adapter ring. So it just screws on. Like that. And it comes off the bayonet fixing. We line up the dots. is in place. There you go. Well, the thing with this lens of course is you actually don't get to use any of the automatic modes on it. It's obviously a manual lens but that's not really the thing here. It's to get that cinematic look and it certainly does the job with the depth of field and stuff. And it's just a nice focal length for sort of portrait pictures as well, so if you're into that. As I say, just an old 50mm camera lens, which you should pick up for about £3 on eBay nowadays, I should imagine. But that's it, I'll give you some examples of uh, how the thing actually works with it. And some shots that I've already done um, with the camera and its kit lens at some gigs.
so there we have it hopefully this is in focus as I say the camera will certainly do me for the purposes of looking for it uh, the sound is pretty poor on it but I have got a tax tax star mic that I've stuck on it it's like a shotgun mic uh, maybe a wee review of that coming shortly as well because that certainly seems to do a lot better job with the mic that's on the actual camera in fact I'll just let you hear the difference just now well this is the internal microphone as you hear it's much more tinny and very much lacking in any sort of dynamics uh, probably a bit hissy too from the distance but um, I certainly like the wee camera uh, the only problem is it isn't 3D so anything that I want to do in 3D I'm going to have to use my original uh, TD30 for that but other than that I'm pretty pleased with it anyway, certainly for the price I paid. Uh, I think it's at the end of its sort of lifespan just now, the A58. We'll probably find another one coming out shortly, very similar. Uh, so that's maybe worth checking out too. Thank you, thanks for watching and please subscribe.